Alright guys, I wanted to do uh, kind of an overview on my Ruger Single 6. This is a single action 22 caliber uh, revolver. I'm actually doing this por uh, portion of the video at the end. I meant to do it at the beginning, but of course I forgot. So in the background there is my, uh, my target for the day. So as you can see, not too shabby, not bad, shooting from between 20 and 25 feet. So anyway, I just want to show you the gun real quick. Uh, again, just an overview video, a little bit of shooting uh, throughout the video as well. Um, this gun is actually one of their older models. This is the uh, quote-unquote old model, Ruger Single 6. And uh, as you can see on the back here, let me show you. Right here, see how these have three three screws? That indicates this was, uh, uh, this was actually manufactured between uh, 1953 and 1972. The newer versions of the Single 6 only have two screws, not the three. So this is, in fact, an older version of this gun. Um, this one specifically has the blued finish. And it has a five and a half inch barrel. Again, it shoots 22 long rifle rounds. Uh, it also comes with a spare cylinder, which you could swap out so you could shoot 22 magnums. Um, this gun uh, it has uh, six shots. It's called the Ruger Single Six because, of course, it's a single action revolver and it shoots uh, six rounds. Now, what, what does single action mean? Single action is where instead of uh, pulling the trigger to bring the hammer back and then release, that's a double action uh, gun. Single action, you have to pull the, the uh, hammer back each and every time you want to shoot. Okay, the trigger drops the hammer, but it will not, as you can see, will not bring it back. And of course, you know, this gun was safety checked about four or five times previous to even turning the camera on. But as you can see there, totally empty. All right. So, um, yeah, so you can't pull the trigger to, to actually fire the gun. You have to uh, cock the hammer all the way back, and then you can shoot. Um... This has a distinctive four clicks, as you can see. Each click, of course, does something you know, throughout the stages here. First click uh, brings the hammer into a half cock position, so it's not resting on the, on the round. Uh, the second click makes it so that the, the uh, cylinder can rotate freely. So, of course, you can load it, unload it, take the empty shells out. Uh, if you can, if you have just one or two rounds in there, you can position it where you need it to be. Third click actually locks the, the cylinder in place. It lines up the, uh, you know, the cylinder with the barrel. And the last click actually holds the hammer back. And then, of course, the trigger would drop the hammer, therefore firing the round. So you have that distinct four clicks. So really smooth gun. I mean, it's just beautifully made. Um, you know, Ruger makes some really nice stuff. But, you know, if you get a hit your hands on some of their older uh, firearms, it's just, you know, being well used. There's probably thousands and thousands of rounds put to this gun. Uh, the person, gentleman that I bought this from, uh, he taught his sons, you know, how to, how to uh, hunt with this gun. The first time they ever shot anything, they shot this, this revolver. 22 caliber is a fantastic round to plink with and, you know, just play around with target shooting. Uh, it's real cheap to shoot. Uh, today for my, my shooting demo, I use this ammunition here, Federal Spitfire. These are uh, hypervelocity. They're a little bit faster than the, the normal 22 uh, long rifle round. Um, these are 31 grain copper plated hollow points, and these travel 1500 feet per second. Um, very, very cool round. A little bit expensive for a 22. I happened to buy this in a brick, so I got a decent price on it. But um, great ammunition, especially for, uh, you know, if you wanted to, to hunt very small game, it's a great round to use. Uh, maybe squirrel, uh, some crows, whatever, you know, whatever kind of stuff is a nuisance by you. But anyway, fantastic gun, very cool. Um, real quick to, to load and unload. Again, put that in two, two clicks back. Open up the uh, uh, right here. Not sure, <laughs> I'll have to annotate what this is called and I don't know offhand. But um, anyway, then you can rotate the, the cylinder and put in your rounds. To, um, to take the cases out, the empty cases, because they expand when you shoot them, there's actually a little bar here. And you push that down. If you look between the gap, between the barrel and the cylinder, get good lighting here you can see that pushes right through and all the way through your your cylinder okay and then I'll push out your expanded case because they do tend to stick you can't just turn upside down and they're gonna fall out and when you fire you know each each fire each time you fire it's a little explosion so it makes your your case kind of expand in there so again you just rotate around and knock your shells out just like that so there you go the Ruger single six all right guys I uh, forgot a few things there I wanted to mention uh, first off, uh, price. Um, this gun here, I bought used. I happen to get this for a real good price. But the, the newer versions, if you buy one that's post-1973, again, a quick indicator of that, 
is going to be. You're going to have two, two screws, not three. Uh, but you could pick these up anywhere from $300 to $400. Uh, average price for a brand new Ruger, Ruger Single 6 uh, in 22 LR uh, is going to be about $315, $320. I say $300 to $400 because prices do fluctuate uh, quite a bit. Um, but look to pay just over $300. It's not a really expensive gun. It's a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. Um, and, you know, very affordable, especially with the 22 ammo. Um, one more thing I want to mention, too, is the newer, newer versions, 1973 and up, will actually have a safety so that the, um, the hammer is not resting onto your, uh, your round. These older models, it's very highly recommended if you to carry this gun loaded to, of course, only load five rounds and then keep your hammer down on an empty chamber. Okay, that's kind of rule of thumb for a lot of older, older uh, revolvers. Um, but the newer ones, again, from 73 on up, will have that safety. Now, if you happen to purchase an older one like this, you could send it back to Ruger to have that safety uh, installed for free. Uh, I just don't want to go through the hassle and trouble of sending it in and all that. But um, just a little little side note there. So, anyway, that's it. Just want to mention that and, of course, the price. So, now, let's see some shooting. Alright, guys, I'm using a, a shoot and see target today. So hopefully after I shoot, you'll be able to see it. Um, here's just a different angle of me shooting. So you can look at the target. This is how you know I'm zoomed out right now. Uh, it's just an estimated distance. I would say I'm probably, right now I'm probably uh, maybe 20, 25 feet away. So anyway, I'm going to zoom in and I'll take six shots and hopefully be able to see what's going on. All right, guys. There's six shots. Do a quick little check of my my pistol here. Make sure I'm cleared. And uh, actually zoom out here. Right, let's go take a look at this. I'll take you off the tripod. Let's take a little peek. All right. Let's see. So I took six shots, and you can see my first. First shot was way left. I don't know if, actually, I don't know if this is my first or later in the group. My first shot didn't actually hit. Um, and then I had another one up here, which is a little bit high. But you see the rest there are uh, all in the, uh, in the black. So, pretty cool. Not, um, you know, not the best shooting, but, um, you know, not too bad at all. So there you go. That's just another a view of the, uh, me shooting the gun where you're actually watching the target. I'll actually take, uh, I'll put you back on the dock here and take six more shots. We'll check that out. Okay guys, uh, round two. Let me zoom you in. Six more shots. Alright, let's go take a, another quick peek, see how we did. Looks like I was shooting uh, a lot lower this time. Okay. Alright, so second round I have four on the target. Here's five. And actually, no, one, one was a little bit higher. So I guess five in the black and one that was uh, way low. So there we go. There's uh, just some shooting of the, the Ruger Single 6. Uh, again, about 20 to 25 feet. Not, uh, not super far, but, you know, I'm not the best shot. So anyway, I did stay within this, uh, I would say, this is probably a, I don't know, 5 inch, five inch target. So not bad at all. So there we go. Now I'm going to actually show you, um, uh, you know, me actually shooting the gun, what it looks like. Not pointing at the target, but actually seeing the gun fire. So let's check that out.
All right, guys, I just want to show you how to load and unload this gun real quick. I've um, been shooting for a while now. I have six more shots left of the Aguila ammunition. So I figured I'd just, uh, on my last round here, show you what the deal is with loading and unloading this. Okay, so I got my six rounds. Here's the gun. You want to do is put the pull the hammer back two clicks. Okay, that's going to let the barrel spin freely, or cylinder rather, not barrel. Um, and then all you got to do is load one, one at a time. So what I do usually is I'll hold, hold the gun like this so I can get my uh, access to my ammunition I'm using. And then simply push each round all the way down. Rotate the cylinder so you can load all six. Okay. Now you close that, and you're all ready to go. So now I'm just going to fire these off real quick, and I'll uh, I'll show you how to uh, how to unload once you're empty. Okay, I just shot uh, all six rounds. So you want to do is again pull your hammer back two clicks. You can open this up. Now what you see is on actually let me close this for a second. You see on here you have this uh, this lever which is actually on a spring. And if you look on top right between this little gap between the barrel and the cylinder you can see that, that pushes through that's actually what pushes out your uh, empty shells so you open that up what you do is you line it up with one of the holes I'll usually hold the uh, the stock just like this now as I push this down okay into the uh, into the uh, chamber it pushes the shell right out you can see that extending past okay then you rotate the next hole and just continue the process That should be all six. There you go. And of course, you dispose of the shells, and you can reload your gun at that point. So there it is, loading and unloading the Ruger single six, or pretty much any single action uh, revolver. All right, guys. You know uh, when you see in Hollywood movies where people hold the trigger down, and then they they use their hand to kind of like keep hitting the uh, the hammer back and firing, you know, pretty fast rapid fire with a revolver. Well, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just for fun, I figured I'd try it once with this, and uh, I cut my hand. Yeah, not too smart. Um, not real terrible. I don't know if you can even see that. But uh, yeah, the, the serrations on this hammer are pretty sharp. So uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, it's not fun. Right, let's go take a peek. So, so far, at 20 to 25 feet, I would say I'm getting about 90% in the, the target range. See here on that round, I actually had one, one bullseye. Um, the most just kind of stayed around. So, you know, not, not so bad. I mean, I'm not the best shot in the world, so I admit that. Um, you know, but the gun's doing great. So there you go. That's the Ruger. Uh, single six, 22 long rifle or uh, 22 mag. So I appreciate you watching, like always, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.